All right, how's everybody today? I hope you are having a splendid... I usually upload at 3, but this could also go up on a Saturday. So either way, I hope you are having slash have a great rest of your day. So I guess I haven't really mentioned it yet, but I am going to be moving. I bought a house, so I'm going to be moving soon. So I'm trying to record as many videos as I can. And that's kind of how I came across this one because I'm trying to record in bulk right now. I'll have like five videos backlogs. So this is another disclaimer that... If something happens in the next week and a half, two weeks, this video will have already been recorded. So, you know, if any big moves happen, like Ovechkin gets traded to Boston somehow, then I'll have no idea, obviously, because I can't predict the future. I'm sorry. So I actually dug up a comment that I screenshotted back in April. So, yeah, we've got uh, a comment here saying to do an original six draft. So only players who are on original six teams basically so yeah that's pretty self-explanatory for those of you that may not know that means boston chicago detroit the rangers the leafs and the canadians so those are the six teams we get to pick from and naturally i feel like we should use one of those teams because of that so i'm trying to think of justification i really like the rangers like their jersey to me is iconic i've said that uh, in times past and yeah but you know what just because of their incredible playoff run i'm gonna go with the Kenna Jet. So yeah, let's rock Montreal here and let's see what we can do. So this one's going to be pretty tough because, you know, there's 31 teams in the NHL, about to be 32 actually. By the time this video comes out, I guess Seattle will have done their draft. So there will be 32 technically. But yeah, uh, I mean, we only get to pick from six of those. The odds are not... Where are we? Oh, we got pick number 10. I didn't even get to predict. I completely forgot. But anyway, pick number 10 is pretty good. We should get a very, very decent player at that spot so let's see who we have to choose from here first one that stands out to me is Matthews but we also got Panarin making almost identical money and yeah we have Marner we've got Marchand all right so we do have a a few players to pick from here and now it's just a matter of which one do we pick and I think I'll go with the man that I met in an elevator and he big leagued me big time Austin Matthews for any of you that don't know that story basically my Girlfriend and I road tripped up to Ottawa to go watch Ottawa in Toronto and we were staying at the Brook Street Hotel and we got in the elevator to go down to the lobby because, uh, you know, there's like a shuttle bus that takes you and it takes all the fans. So we were going to go on that. And when we got on the elevator, Austin Matthews was there. So I walked in. I'm like, oh, hey, what's up, man? And he just stared at his phone. He's like, hey. And then I was like, you're going to light it up tonight to the response of that's the plan. And I'm like, all right. And I just stop talking because clearly he didn't wasn't having it i mean i guess we could have two centers matthews could maybe play on the wing but yeah i think let's go for Bergy, and that's two very very talented centers oh a goalie yeah i should probably do that soon in honor of recent events with montreal making it to the finals once again i think i have to take carry that contract is unbelievable like not good i mean but i could take rask as well but i feel like i just have to i feel like the comments will be very upset if i don't take carry price and boston fans i already took your guy all right i took saint patrice so relax literally just because his contract is so much better i'm gonna take petrie and because he's sick on top of that weber's still here he's 35 but whatever i think he also had a very is it weber that had a really bad foot injury i heard i think my friend was telling me about that and saying that he's gonna be out for a long time so that sucks this is pretty much turning into a montreal draft but let's take gallagher anyway i mean he's good i saw duncan keith there he normally hangs around for a while so we don't really have to jump on that super soon but we'll probably be a defenseman we p wait he no he got traded that's right he doesn't play no he plays for edmonton now so never mind let's just stack up on defense here jake muzzin we're gonna be a very defensive based team i mean we do have some offensive powerhouses in matthews and bergeron so we don't really have to worry about that but yeah i already feel like this team's gonna be sick i feel like we are definitely setting up for success here oh she no you know a bit of a random one here but we normally always take just older players and i find that when i sort of mix it up and actually take some lower overall players that are really young it ends up working out so i'm taking timothy lilligren Ooh, kubalik that's a guy we don't really see very often but yeah chicago so let's go ahead and pick up dom why not we already have so many centers and i don't even care he's on Montreal, like I said, it's basically a Montreal draft. Let's just take e Stall, baby. I'm pretty sure Zach Hyman just got a huge overpaid contract, at least in my opinion. But anyway, I mean, he's only 2.2 here. Yeah, why not? Let's sign him up. 83 overall. 
decent. I'm actually a little concerned. I haven't taken another goalie yet. Ooh, all right, all right. I'm gonna take Toronto's probably starting goaltender next year, Jack Campbell. Jumbo's contract is so good. It's, yeah, I, I don't know if I can say no to that. We gotta pick him up. All right, so pretty much just turning into a Toronto draft. There you go, 1.3, Nick Foligno. Yeah, I mean, he's there as of right now, at least when I'm recording this video. And you guys already know if the Wayne train's there, I have to take him. Like, it's just whatever. You know, I, I can't not, but uh, it looks like he's gone, unfortunately. So we have to keep on keeping on. We really don't have the cap for it, and I don't care. Josh Anderson, welcome to the team. I don't think we've taken a Rangers player yet or a Red Wings player yet, but anyway, let's see if we can maybe find someone. Oh, actually, Bobby Ryan, 1 million, and he's a right winger. Yeah, that works out, prime. Nice, okay, we now have a player from Detroit. I think the only team missing now is the Rangers, unless, I'm trying to remember, but yeah, I don't think we have. Oh, Wayne Simmons is here. All right, well, I, t I told you, if, if I saw him, I thought he was 82 overall, but no, he's 81 apparently, anyway. He's there, gotta take him. Duel Armia, once again, we continue the theme of the Canadians draft. So I think we just need two defensemen now and we're good to go. And we are definitely in good shape for cap. A lot better than I thought we were gonna be. So yeah, we've made some financially responsible picks, it seems. I've been trying to find, there might even be a better option, but I'm trying to find a Rangers player to take here. So it's gonna be Jack Johnson. Yeah, I think we've officially checked off every team at least one player i mean technically that wasn't part of the video at all i just felt obligated and i'm gonna take Chara just because he's at the top oh wait a minute no i can't do that i totally forgot i'm just so used to seeing him in a boston uniform that i totally forgot that he was playing for the caps another montreal defenseman why not and we are actually within the cap quite comfortably so i am definitely down with that i saw k miller but that's got to be kevin miller not K. Andre Miller, right? There's no way. Just confirming that it is in fact, yeah, all right. Just wanted to double check. I really don't know if this team's gonna be good or not. I, I think so. I think they'll do pretty solid. Here is the draft overview. Let's go put this team together and let's see what it looks like. But I do have a feeling it's gonna be pretty good. That's kind of weird. We got 0303, but if, you know, it works, it works, I guess. We'll see. And on defense, we've got, hmm. Let's see if we can... Okay, we can. So, let's bring... Let's bring... Hmm... He shoots right, he shoots left. Yeah, okay, let's bring Johnson up then. We'll do it that way. Oh, wow, we actually have three right-handed defensemen and three left-handed defensemen. I didn't even do that on purpose, but... Yeah, 3 one oh, And then we've got 0303, and in net, we got Carey Price and Jack Campbell, who I swear was an 81 when I drafted him, but maybe... I'm losing it. Very possible. Well, make your predictions, comment down below, and let's see how close you guys can get. I am going to assume we get 49 wins. I think it's going to be a very talented hockey club. I, if we're not simming well, I'll go do best lines because apparently the chemistry or synergy, whatever it is, means nothing. But, oh, well, unless the computer determines it does when I do best lines. But anyway, yeah, 49 wins. Matthew's most points with 90. Dare I say that we are off to quite the start here. 49 might not even be accurate. Well, there's no way we continue at this pace. It's just not possible. There it is. A nice four game L streak. Might as well make it five. Never mind. I keep seeing these morale things. I just want to double check that our lines are in fact right. So Bergeron's actually leading the team point a game right now with 33. But let's go to the lines and just make sure that it is everyone I drafted. I'm almost positive it is, but I just want to double check. So yeah, it looks good. Yeah, that looks good. And then we know. Okay, never mind. We're fine. Unless I miss someone again, which... I really hope I didn't. Ooh, this isn't even a trade deadline trade. I haven't seen one of these in a while. So Dallas gets Merkley and a third in exchange for Schultz, Rust, and a third. Nice. Well, a 2022nd third, actually. Okay, I'm growing more confident in my 49 wins prediction. It's sort of seeming like that might end up happening. So we need to get nine wins after the deadline, pretty much. But let's go into the deadline and see who's on the block, just for curiosity's sake. So we got Barry, we got Hudobin, Tata, Ranta, Giroux, Dell, Holpe, Duchesne, Granlin, and Nino. So yeah, pretty, it's a pretty decent block right there. Ooh, the Golden Knights get Barry and Tomas Tata in exchange for a first, a 2022 second, and O'Rourke. Interesting. I actually think we're going to get more than... Yeah, I, we are. There's no way we only win five of all these games left. So we are definitely getting more than 49 wins. We're hitting the 50 mark, baby. We have to, I think. I guess based on the cap too, like this is a totally valid team. You know, the salaries that they had in the previous season, this would actually be a team that could be there. And 
they are dominating. So I wonder if they would actually dominate this hard in the real NHL or not. So now the question becomes, do the Montreal Canadiens get the President's Trophy? And I think so, If especially if we get this win against Toronto. We didn't, but we still had, I think, 53 wins it was. So let's go have a look at the stats. Um, curious. We definitely finished first in our division. 95 points out of Bergie. What is that? I went to say Bergie and Bergie at the same time, and it came out as, like, almost Fergie. But anyway, um, yeah, we did get the President's Trophy. Buffalo was right there behind us one point, but El President is going to Montreal. If we check out the individual stuff, he only put up 77 in a dash four. What the heck is that, Austin? That's what you get for spelling your name with an O. Anyway, Bergeron with 95. What a legend. And yeah, let's just scroll down here to see who got the least amount. Jack Johnson with 11, but he was a plus 14. So I'll take that. In net, Price went 47, 17 and four, a 9, 12, 247. And Campbell let the boys down. Unreal. In the entire league, Carey Price led by a significant margin there. He had five on the next guy, so he definitely dominated. And Kucherov with 120 points and 56 goals. All right. Well, I think we know who the Rocket Richard winner is as well as the Art Ross. And yeah, there you have it. That is just absurd amount of points. We don't even have to go look at the President's Trophy winning team's roster because we have it. <laughs> so... We're good. Time for a first round exit, baby. Let's see how this one goes. Big dub over Flyers in game one. There's an L. Okay, it's 2-1 right now. Let's continue the simulation. AHL does not matter to me. Come on, get a big dub. Don't you dare. Oh, man, I thought we blew it. I thought we blew it for sure. But we managed to win game seven. Okay, it's 2-2. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, another game seven and we go out. Unbelievable. What are you absolute clowns doing out there? The Jets are the Stanley Cup champions. All right. So there you go. Winnipeg taking home the Stanley. Let's have a look at their roster real quick. And then, ooh, Bergy again. 18. What an absolute icon. Just carrying the boys. 93 overall. So we have to go look at Winnipeg's roster real quick just to see what made them so successful. And then we'll check out the awards and stuff like that. So... They had Ovechkin. That explains it right there. Thanks. And they had Voracek, Radulov, Brady Kachuk. What's his overall? 85. Okay. They had Tyler Johnson, Domi. They do have a very good team here. Yeah. Honestly, they do have a really good team. So, kind of checks out. What about Annette? They have Mackenzie Blackwood and Bernier. So, they had two pretty good goalies. But Bernier, 898, 318. Blackwood played pretty good, though. Now, the awards here. We'll just go through the team awards real quick and individual. We got Kuch with the Art Ross. We knew that. And the Hart. Wierenski gets the Norris. Kucherov with the Lady Bing. He's going to clean up, isn't he? Kirill the Thrill with the Calder. Ovechkin with the Con Smite. The Vesna goes to Carey Price. Markstrom with the Jennings. Anderson with the Bill Masterton. All right. Duclair gets the Jack Adams. O'Reilly with the Selkie. Ted Lindsay goes to Kuch. And so does the Rocket Richard, of course. We saw that coming. Anyway, what a year for that guy. Just lit it up. Anyway, here is the playoff tree if anyone's curious. So yeah, were your predictions close? Were you right? Maybe. Maybe some of you got it. But I don't know if anyone's going to call that. That's a that's a toughie to call. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave a comment. Helps with the algorithm or something like that. Apparently. So I've been told. Maybe it doesn't. But anyway, in case it does, yeah. Leave a like. That'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you soon.